Hey guys, Dream Dylan. Today I have a new video for you, Spectrum users that have some trouble and don't think that your range is good enough. I will save you with two easy tips that you can do to your radio. One is a bit of a mod, the other two is just a setting that you may or may not have if you live in Europe or outside. So let's get to it. I'll leave it short because I don't want to waste a lot of time with modding videos. So the first one is on the radio itself. Okay, as you can see, you have some settings on the radio as you already know. What you want to do is check if your range, if your uh, power setting is on the max on, on the radio. The max setting that you can give to is this radio is 200 milliwatts and that is the BUS247. If you live in other countries, you may have friends or AU, that's what I had, and it's li it's a little bit uh, limited, the, the, the power to the transmitter. So if you want the full power on this radio, you'll have some, let's say, 20% more range with this, this thing only. So shake your radio before you say your range is crap. Let's go to another one. Another thing that you may and may not notice that my radio has a big ass antenna. As you can see, as you may or may not seen, some folks have modded the Tyrannus and other radios with ATBI or other gain antennas. I did the same with mine. And it did a little bit more, I'll say 10% more of my range. So now I can fly with Wi-Fi areas and will not have hiccups that some Spectrum do have. I never had failsafe. This I put this thing on, so take your uh, thoughts on that and I'll show you how, it, how I did it. Let's go. So you have your radio open and now you will see what I see. Here is a transmitter that transmits all the power to your receiver on the drone. You see that you'll see, you'll, if you didn't do this mod, you'll see that the original cable will be here with the original antenna. You want to take that out and unscrew the antenna out, pretty easy. Then you want to fit the UFL mini PCI to RPSMA cable through the hole and the uh, RPSMA will fit quite nicely here and you want to put the UFL connector here use epoxy if you can or if you don't like me you use uh, some hot glue to fix the, the tip on the connector because the cable is quite stiff so with the juggle of the, of the transmitter or some bounce it can take it out and you can burn your transmitter <laughs> If this thing goes out, with, if this thing is powered on without the uh, antenna to dissipate that. Uh, another thing that you can do, I didn't do, if you want to have some perfect, perfect transmission, it's cut the cable to a specific length. I don't know, I think it's the wave uh, of the 2.5 gigahertz. I don't know this. Okay. So, uh, research it before. Do that, but I didn't do that. I, I used the original cable since the antenna of the spectrum original antenna is not with a small size, so take that in account. Uh, then screw your antenna, make sure it's upright on the right position, and go the RPSMI. I'll leave a link to everything I, I bought, although I didn't bought in local stores, but I'll leave you a link to online stores. And that's it with this mod. Since I was running the AU mode and now the ATBI antenna, I'm looking about 40% to 40 in paper, obviously. Uh, uh, increased range since the AU mode is half the power of the US. And I'm not counting 50% more because that, that's not how it works. And the ATBI antenna will give me a 10% more. So in total, 40 to 40% more range which is great to this radio so spectrum users share it among each other we have to support each other and it's an easy mod it's a cheap mod 13 bucks and you have this mod done and you'll love it even more the spectrum radio because if you use it you'll know that it's great but it has it, its own vibes so yeah Share this, subscribe, and if you like, leave a comment and share. I'll happily answer all your questions on the comments, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.